part of me won't agree as i don't know if it's for sure suddenly suddenly i don't feel so insecure what up guys how's it going a little sum 41 for you uh it is i the real randy chavez coming at you with an earth 2 question answering update video <laughs> let's get right into it um before i get into it i'll just say it means the world to me when you guys use my referral code uh when you sub to my patreon when you do any of that just that just helps the channel it just helps me it keeps me sane it really does um earth 2 user ek says saint john dominica says it, it is uh one tile is about 13 cents as of the making of this video and it is a good place to buy in the future anything beachfront property i think people are going to check out and any touristy area i think people are going to check out so probably right it's probably gonna be a decent amount of foot traffic Again, my is the only reason I would not um, buy that, which I I'm, I'm, I just haven't bought just because I haven't bought it yet. But the only reason why I'm a little hesitant to buy smaller places is because if class, like class one, class two, class three, class four, if it turns out that class one does have more advantages outside of land taxes, uh, then that's good. Get in early. But if it does not have any advantages outside of giving you land tax, um, I am very concerned about it because that places are so small and there's no reason to really get class one there because once the land is bought, it's just not going to get anything special. Um, obviously, you will get more bang for your buck as that goes out. But again, once those tiles are bought, the price cannot go up from other people buying land in that area the same way it will in Russia. Same well in China or Antarctica, because those land masses are just so huge, there will always be land there. What will happen is that the only way that price will go up is if other people buy above market value for your property. And I think that can happen a lot, strictly because you're going to have these places that just are so massive and so uh, really cool to go to. You're just going to get a ton of foot traffic, so people will buy that. If it turns out that, hey, there's a place that people are going... And it's twenty dollars a tile, but I want to make a couple dollars a day from it. I'll give you forty dollars a tile. I, I don't care. I'll pay double market value for that. That's just a strategy that I'm going to implement. Um, I need a Discord. That is the other question. Yes, uh, I do have it. It's the same username as here, the real Randy Chavez. It was Chavi Cat Five. I just changed it. Um, so that is mine. I'll check it that often. I probably should. Um, how many tiles do you have? I have like eleven thousand, something like that. Again, buying has been pretty sparse. I will. Once this Trophy Kangas Khan is paid off, $12,000 left, $12,000 left. Once that is paid off, I will be able to spend a lot more into this game, and I can't freaking wait. Um, the, someone asked, the tile price seems to be moving with the price of Bitcoin. Okay, there's a couple of reasons why I believe that is wrong. Because Bitcoin really only has two things. Bitcoin is has a limited amount. There's only a certain amount of them that can be mined. The amount that can be mined gets less and less because it takes more and more mining to be able to produce them. And there is, there's only, again, outside the limited amount, it's what people want to pay for it. If people are willing to pay something for it, then, ah, sorry, my hips, ah, my other hips. Um, that That's it. That's really the only two driving factors with it, is that there's a limited amount and what people are willing to pay for it. You have these tiles where... Yes, same thing. There's only a limited amount. And it's kind of what people want to pay for it. But it's more not as complex. It's it's more complex than that. Because you have other aspects of speculation of will this spawn resources? Will this area be valuable in the future? There's and I think a decent amount of that is cooked into the price. The price of the US especially at twenty something dollars a tile. Do I think all tiles are created equal? No. Right now, it looks as though you're going to want to buy in these heavy foot traffic areas and the fields of Ohio. No one's really going to go to unless they want to see a ghost because it is haunted as hell over there. I'll tell you guys that story another time. Um, it's haunted. And there's nothing but fields and roads, uh, corn mazes, maybe. That's. I don't believe that is going to be as valuable as any place in the city. Now, you could make the argument in the city, well, maybe we're not going to spawn many materials. Maybe we'll spawn brick or whatever, but the fields of Ohio give us a lot more resources. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. We don't know yet. Um, but there's there's just a lot more speculation cooked into the price of 
of the tiles, which eventually they'll make, they'll give us into a cryptocurrency. We just don't know what yet. Will the Ethereum will be their own crypto? I'd rather it be an existing crypto, but I digress. Uh, Imran Khan, Khan, for all you Star Trek fans, uh, he asks, what is causing the developers to keep raising the price of tiles for, say, middle of nowhere Ohio? It's like they are artificially inflating the U.S. tile prices to give a sense that prices are rising, so people buy more. Why are random tiles $24, the rest of the tiles should be $0.10? Cents? Okay, so Imran Khan, uh, you've been common for a while, so I will answer this as appropriately as possible, and then I'm going to start to rustle some jimmies. So right now, what is causing developers to keep raising the price of tiles? They're not exactly raising the price. They're not doing it like, oh, you know what? Um, these prices are too low. Like, let's keep them up with the same pace that they are in the city. They're not sitting there doing that. They don't have time for that. It was coded in the game that land in any area, whether you buy in a city, where you buy in a beach, or you buy um, a mansion, a landmark, or in the middle of nowhere, it is all the same price. That's it. It has started $0.10. And as people buy in that area, it just automatically goes up. I don't think anyone knows the exact correlation of how many tiles you have to buy for it to go to $0.10, cents, to $0.11, cents, to 12 and so on and so forth. Um, but that's just the way it works. That It's not someone sitting at a computer saying, oh, well, these prices are going, so I'm going to uh, make sure these prices go up as well. That, that's just not what happens. It's, it's all cooked in there. Though I'm sure there'll be reasons to buy in the middle of nowhere. I have the middle of nowhere in India, middle of nowhere in South Africa, middle of nowhere in Brazil. Um... I wouldn't say middle of nowhere, but I have prices on Long. I have tiles on Long Island. Unless you live on Long Island or like you kind of know what it is, you're probably it's you're probably not going to go there. Versus the city, maybe they. I think you know outside in the country, like. But no, you're really not going to go there. I bought it because I want to do stuff with it. Um, so, the, the the developers are not sitting there trying to artificially inflate any any of those prices. And when you continue to say, why are random tiles twenty four dollars? Or should be ten cents? That's just it's just wishful thinking. That's just not going to happen. Um, unfortunately, yeah, you just have to take you have to take the good with the bad. Uh, good if you get in, great. If you don't get in, not great. But again, you'll still be able to. I still a hundred percent believe that people are going to take the middle of nowhere and in secret build this huge, amazing thing. What did Walt Disney do after a huge success that was Disneyland in California? Started buying land the middle of nowhere florida where nothing else was plots of land plots of land he even made these giant giant shell corporations like m amazon mike t is in uh tango mt lots as a reference toward empty lots and started buying all these so that nobody knew that it was walt disney who was buying these tiles to make another theme park eventually they figured out oh it was him and they jacked up the prices but that's something that i believe can happen here People buying land in the middle of nowhere, keeping it a secret, and then psh, making a viral video. Everyone comes there at once. That would be the most amazing thing, I think. Um, and again, I expect that to happen. But Okay, here's where I'm going to start to rustle some jimmies. Put this down a second. Price is relative. Price is relative, and what is expensive to someone else, like let's say they're 17, 18 years old, they're still in high school, or in 16, and they... Let's say they just don't have a job. Let's say they have an allowance of like five or ten dollars a week, whatever the going rate for allowance is nowadays, and they want to invest. They're like, okay, well, I have to wait a couple of weeks just to get one tile in the U.S. Yes, you do. Maybe family doesn't have a lot. Maybe you don't have allowance. You could go around, and you don't need tiles to play. You can go around and collect um, stuff on other people's property. But what is expensive to that person? Let's say ten or twenty dollars. Like, oh, expensive is not expensive as someone their age that has a job and makes $100, $200 a week. They can afford to spend $20, almost like it's nothing, because they get that weekly uh, in their expendable income. Let's say after paying for their phone or paying for gas. And that's, you know, to them, maybe $200 is expensive. Where now you're getting, you know, three figures here, and not everyone has that much left over to spend on a game fair point they don't you know people are eating um is spending five dollars a day at taco bell so they don't have to eat um to keep expenses down because they are <laughs> literally late on rent this month 
Um, maybe they, yeah, again, what's expensive to one person is not expensive to the other. So be advised, there are people that can spend five figures like it's nothing. The average the average person or family has an average a uh, expendable income of $1,800 a month that can go into this game. There are millionaires and billionaires that would, I say I could put, you know, four or five grand in here like it's nothing. A millionaire could put in 50 grand like it's nothing. Price is all relative, and unfortunately for that fact, they just do not care about our feelings. We're going to be priced out of stuff. You, me, a lot of people we know are going to be priced out of stuff just because that's what that happens in life, happens in collectibles, happens in sports cards. And I had someone try to message me and say, like, I have this really good place in Brazil. You know, I'll, I'll, I want an American price for it. I want to offer it to you first. Like, what? Like, have you seen my videos? And he's like, yes, very good videos. Like, all right, so you know I'm relatively intelligent. I've been in the market for several years. Why would I pay, like, 23x of what that tile is worth? Like, some people just absolutely, like, <laughs> insult me with the lack of intelligence they think I have. But that the prices of things, unfortunately, don't care about other people's emotional feelings. Like, well, I knew it when it was this price. I've seen that in Pokemon a lot. Well, it was this price a year ago. I don't want to pay this price. Well, that's what the price is nowadays. People that are saying like, well, prices should be this. Prices are what they are. You can't change that unless someone decides to... Guidebook Gaming does giveaways a lot. Class 1. Class 1 tiles. He gives away in his streams down below link down below um so that's something that is just absolutely um people don't know that yet um a lot of people i think in these games it, the audience has to mature a little bit because obviously you see even the developers said that all right this is something where we have to take valuable time and investigate these pump and dump scams these these things that people are trying to do um that will change as time goes on audience will get more mature Get a bunch of those, you know, Shade City people out. Um, but definitely expect expect prices to rise in a way that we do not like. I would love it if prices went crashing down because I'd buy all of it. Um, moving on. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Starting with, all right, if I had 50 to $100, what do you think I should buy? Load a question because, again, we don't 100% know where resources resource is going to be spawned. 50 to $100, probably can't buy any large amount of uh, landmarks just yet. Unless you have just landmarks that nobody knows about that would be famous in, like, your country. Um, like, if you had this really landmark that everyone goes to, like, again, let's say Long Island. All-American is not, I don't consider it a landmark, but it's been on, like, the local news as an old-school 50s type of burger place, and I bought it. Um, obviously, you could only buy two tiles there now for 50 or 100 bucks, for $50, but if you find something local... There, there's a good, decent chance that, you know, you could find a local landmark that most of the rest of the world does not know about. But you can, I would say, try that. Or you could try, and even if it gets wiped uh, in Phase 2, you could recreate what was there. Um, put your own twist on it, make it better. Brazil, or anything in the BRICS nations. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Those are the ones that I've been um, looking at heavily. Antarctica as well, just because there's a lot, there's large land masses, lots of land, so you're always going to continue to get income tax, uh, unless you buy, you know, class four. Um, and again, in, income tax isn't even something that is a long-term strategy for the developers. Um, but it's just right now, that's just one of the only things we can do is collect. Um, Sierra Leone Blood Diamonds. This is something I thought was interesting because you have these... In the real world, it is... The moral question comes into being, like... All right, diamonds. They use African kids' slave labor to mine these, and I think that's awful. I, I you know, thankfully the uh, <laughs> uh, the one girl that I got engaged two years ago did not like diamonds. She was vehemently against it, so I was like, "Hey, no engagement ring," even though she proposed to me. So that was a different thing. But anyway, um, even cobalt um, right now in in the real world is a little bit, you know, more like, uh, probably not the best way to, you know, we should try to limit cobalt because of the way it's gotten. The beautiful thing about this type of game is that unless there are NPCs, there should be no reason why anyone should feel guilty about getting diamonds or anything out of anywhere because no one's actually getting hurt. Now, 
in the grand scheme of things, there are some people that say like, oh no, I chose the wrong dialogue. Oh no, he hates me. Oh God. And they'll get anxiety from it. Some people will be like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Oh God, I feel so bad about the feelings of a not of an NPC. Something that doesn't really exist. So there will be people in here. That's why I brought up veganism the other day. Um, in this game that will say like, oh, if an NPC has to do it, I feel bad for making them work. Well. There's going to be people like that. Um, outside of that, outside of those people, most people will be like, all right, cool. But th there's really no moral ambiguity or anything about getting Sierra Leone blood diamonds now just because, again, you're not having actual children slave labor. But that is my video for today. I'll upload a one, another one tonight for everyone else. I'll see you all for the Pokemon video later tonight uh, and Tesla video tomorrow. I love you guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. Meow. Smash the like button. Meow. Bye. Meow.